Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Leo. Hope you're all well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. All right, Leo, 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 Leo. Let's grab some overall energy cards. What is the overall energy surrounding Leo in love? What is the overall energy surrounding Leo? Leo overall energy in love. What do they need to know? Soulmate. Ooh, Aries got that. Forgiving and learning. And reconciliation. Ooh. Somebody wants to have a reconciliation. This is going to need, there's some things that will need to be released. This is a soulmate. Okay, this is some forgiving and learning here. So there will be some things that you'll need to let go of to heal. Release and heal the past so you can experience love in your present moments. Reconciliation. Ooh, all right. Leo, 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 Leo. Overall energy surrounding Leo. Leo, you could be connecting with an Aries because they have the soulmate card right here too. All right. Yes, this is your soulmate. It doesn't have to be. Sometimes it's just like that. All right, Leo. This card wants to come out. Princess of Swords. Eight of Swords. Somebody is trying to get some clarity and they're trapped in their head. Okay, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have this King of Pentacles. There is somebody here who probably wants to clear things up with you. They're trapped in their head. They can't stop thinking about you. They're trying to get some clarity. This person, they are financially stable. This is somebody who's been working very hard, planning their future. Okay, this is somebody who works a lot. That's all they do. They're in their head about work all the time. <laughs> okay, it's funny because the Aries reading was sort of similar. So I kind of, we'll see if that comes out. Could be just the planetary stuff or just a coincidence. Whoops, yep. So there's someone here who's very a little guarded, a little defensive, not sure what to believe. And then we have the hanged man, Pisces energy. Someone's looking at things from every angle here. They're, you know, trying to change their perspective. And I feel this person's trapped in your energy. Uh, there's something here to, that this could be you, Princess of Swords, wanting to clear things up, trying to get some clarity. All right. Maybe you're trapped in your head about this person, Leo. All right. I feel as though, but I feel like it's them. and uh, Or it's both of you because, of course, down the middle is both people. So you're probably in each other's energy still. <laughs> There's the soulmate connection. This person, Seven of Wands, is someone who stands up for their beliefs. But to me, it's like someone's being careful what they believe as well. All right. So they're looking at things from every angle. There's a need for something to be released to heal. Okay. Oh, these cards. I, I picked these because I haven't used them in a long time. And I really love them, but they're really old. <laughs> they don't shuffle well anymore. I keep saying I'm going to buy a new deck and I keep forgetting. So we have this Eight of Cups. Yeah, so there is somebody who has turned to their back on their feelings, I feel. This is somebody who's all about work. All work, no play. They're very guarded, very defensive. They are stuck. Looking at things from every angle, it's likely you as well. Feeling stuck, looking at things from a different perspective about walking away. Somebody wants to come back. They want to come towards you and heal this situation. Okay. Yeah, and then we have the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so somebody feels that there's not a lot of hope here. Feeling a sense of loss. Somebody may be lonely. Uh, that could be changing someone's perspective. Thinking it's time to move towards that Ten of Cups. Something more emotionally fulfilling than just work. Yes. This could be someone who walked away from you in the past or vice versa. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's this. Someone's had a tough time in love and they're sort of feeling stuck. Trying to change their perspective, though, you know, about offering up this cup of love. Somebody may be wanting forgiveness, but feeling like there's no hope. Someone may have ghosted you in the past. They, you know, they may have stood up and had their walls up, been very guarded, very stuck. And then we have, yeah, there's that Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. All right, Leo. So there you are standing in your power. I feel like standing up for what you believe. And I think some of you really 
had had a tough time in love. I do, and I think you've been very stuck. Um, I feel with this Princess of Wands, you're ready to take some kind of action towards a reconciliation. Okay. Yeah, you stood up to somebody here, I think, with the Princess of Wands. And you may have said something blunt or very quick, very fast. Feel as though... I, I kind of feel like you, there's because this is Juan's energy, I feel like you stood up to somebody, you were guarded and defensive, and it's like, no matter how you look at it, it's like, you just feel like, it's like this person's trying to change your perspective about something, because they can't stop thinking about you, and it's like, they probably are starting to think, oh my gosh, is, you know, they're working through the process, the details, they're looking at everything meticulously, is this my soulmate, is this my person? It's like they're trying to get some clarity. Uh, they don't really have it, right? So they're defensive. They're guarded. They're trying to change their perspective about coming towards you. Uh, there's something to do with forgiving and healing that would definitely need to take place. This person may have walked away and left you sort of hanging there, stuck, or vice versa. Uh, this is ghosting. But someone's lonely. Someone's looking for love. Someone's ready for love. They've changed their perspective. Uh, you may have stood up to this person in the past, Leo. <laughs> yeah, very much. They are, yeah, you're, and you're ready to again, too. You may have said something to this person when you walked away. Because, you you know, you stand in your power. You stand up for what you believe. And I don't think it was anything too heavy. It's just a princess. It's not the queen. You know, when the queen stands up and she says something blunt, that's it. But this is like, you know, um, looking at things from a different angle. And I feel like it's mostly this person. But, you know, it is both of you in the middle. This stuck Change of perspective, change of attitude, uh, ready for some kind of change. I feel like this person, it's like they've been thinking about you a lot. And I feel like as they look at the details, they're, I feel like they're looking at things different. Why you stood up to them. Why you were guarded, defensive. You were looking for some clarity and you weren't getting it from them. And that's what I kind of feel, you know, the kitty corner, that that's your energy up there with the princess of swords. You could be watching this person uh, on the internet, possibly, or vice versa. But I mostly feel as though it's just a matter of not getting the truth and the clarity. And uh, you couldn't get that from this person. You felt they weren't speaking the truth. So you were very guarded. They're changing their perspective of how they've seen things originally. They're now understanding why you walked away. All right, Princess of Swords. Leo, Leo, yeah. So this, yeah, so I feel as though we've got this, yeah, you wanted this, you had this new beginning, but there was no clarity, okay? There was, uh, you wanted this with this person, feel like they want to come in and clear things up with you. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, this person, they want to reach out, offer you that cup. Could be an apology for a lack of clarity, a lack of truth. Yeah, this person wasn't very invested. All right. They, you know, they may be a, a coming in apologizing, maybe for keeping you waiting, not investing. Ooh, this person... Yeah, reaching out via the internet. They could be watching you on social media. They want to share that cup with you and share their feelings about this. They want to get out of their head. They can't stop thinking about you. They're wondering if you're invested. They may just come in and ask you if you have anyone else. Okay. You may be waiting for this person for a long time to come in and apologize because you want this clarity. And this new beginning. But I kind of feel like it's them too. <laughs> Interesting. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. This is somebody who works a lot. They're very much, um, they could be self-employed or a business owner. They have a lot of money or they work in finance. Uh, this is someone who work. their whole life is about money. They, this is someone who plans their future <laughs> well in advance. And they sort of stick to it very meticulously. There we go. Yeah, so yes, there's... Whew. This person's working through the process of a reconciliation. Uh, they're thinking about the past. They're thinking about you. Uh, this is someone who's planned their future since they were very young. But they are thinking about you, working through this process. They're contemplating a reconciliation. 
They feel like you may be a soulmate, but they're not sure what to believe. They're looking at things from every angle. And I do feel like they, this is somebody who generally isn't the most emotional. They turn their back on their feelings, right? They try to not get emotionally involved in things. Uh, but they have sweet feelings and memories and they're thinking about it. They are thinking about reaching out. I feel like they may ask you to, you've been waiting for this, waiting for an apology or for them to reach out. Uh, they're going to ask you if, you if you've met anyone new. There's something here. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about something. They can't stop thinking about you. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Tell me about this guarded defensive energy, keeping your wall up. I think this person, yeah, they're looking at that, right? This one minute they feel guarded and defensive. Like they're looking at things from a different, your perspective as well as their own. And I feel like they've changed their perspective. I think they understand why you walked away. All right. You stood up to this person. You said something. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. I do believe that you feel there is going to be a reconciliation. You're waiting for this truth, this clarity. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. I don't think you're as focused on this person as you were in the past, though. Yeah, so there we go. Eight. Yeah, I, I feel like this person, they know, right? They're trapped in this defensive energy. They're thinking a lot about it, why you were defensive, why you were guarded. They're not sure what to believe about this soulmate energy either because they, are, I think they're feeling this energy being trapped. They can't release you kind of an energy, right? This is trapped in your thoughts, trapped in an energy. You're both there. Tell me about the hanged man. This person knows they need to change their perspective, their approach to come towards you. They know they do because they can't make them, they can't be guarded and defensive anymore. If they had their guard up before, I, I know they need to not repeat this. Okay, they know that. Yeah, they're starting to see things different. They're ready for emotional fulfillment. And they know they need to change their approach. So, yeah, Eight of Cups, what's going on? Yeah, they're thinking, yeah, this person's thinking about healing and purging. They hold you in high regard. They're thinking a lot about you. They know that there needs to be some healing and forgiving. They need to release some old baggage, old habits, old behaviors, relationship baggage. This is somebody who walked away from their feelings, sort of, at, you walked away from them because it's like they didn't care. They acted like they didn't care. Um, they actually did, and they're thinking a lot. Now they're starting to realize after they've been stuck looking at things from every angle, they actually do care. Uh, this person, you know, yeah, they know they need to heal that. The situation seems a little out of reach to them, though. This is why at the time uh, it's felt like it was out of reach, and it's because they work a lot. This person's, they work around the clock. They're planning their future. I feel they have very sweet memories, though. They're looking at all those details, right? And they're working through everything that happened. They've been working on themselves, likely. So I, I feel like, yeah, they've really gone within. They need to heal this. They see you as a star. Somebody here may have Aquarius energy. Yeah, they're thinking about this. They know that there needs to be some healing. They know that they need to walk away from the past okay their old habits things like that they need to let it go tell me about the five of pentacles oh too many cards boy that's like half the deck tell me about this five of pentacles what's going on here why is the five of pentacles here for leo and their person yeah we go yeah this person feels like there's no hope to have a new beginning but they're becoming clear that they miss you, okay? They're, they, they are becoming very clear that they miss you. They're lonely. They want this new beginning. Yeah, they're starting to realize, too, they made you feel like you weren't good enough. But maybe it's because they felt they weren't and they needed to release some old baggage, right? There's this definitely some serious healing. Uh, this person turned their back on their feelings. They turned their back on love. 
All right, because all they do is think about work and money. All they do is focus on their money and they act like they don't care, but they do. And that's the thing, right? That's why you walked away. Yeah, this is you holding yourself in high regard. You've had a tough time in love. Uh, this person, uh, they see you as everything they wanted, like this empress. They see the abundance. They see the possibilities uh, with you. All right, Leo, I feel as though this person's they've had a tough time and that's the thing they need to heal. This could be their mother. They're, they may have had issues with their mother when they were a child that they need to work through. Uh, they've been putting a lot of work into this, I feel, with whatever's going on here. Yeah, they've been really working. They're becoming very clear. I feel like this person, it's like maybe a little bit of self-esteem issues or something that they needed to let go of to do with their childhood, how they were raised, okay? Their mother. Yeah, to do with their family. They're looking at things, you know, back and forth from every angle. They know they need to change their perspective, their outlook, if they want to be happy. If they want you, they... Wow. All right. So, yeah, they... I, I feel like you, you've had a tough time. Uh, you've gone through your own healing yourself. You have a lot of abundance. I feel like you've been standing in your power, standing up for what you believe in. Leo, Okay. Yeah, very much. There you are. They they see you as a new beginning. They see you clearly now. Uh, they may have treated you like you weren't good enough or they felt they weren't. They get it. Uh, Maybe to do with how they were raised. Like this is the mother, queen of cups. Fertility can be the mother, all right? There's something they needed to heal about that. So we have the queen of wands. Yeah, they see you as just right. Yeah, I, I feel like you stood up for yourself. You kind of said what you needed to say. Uh, you got your justice, <laughs> I feel, but I feel like you're trying to be careful what you believe um, now. If this person comes back, if you feel like they're right for you, you're not so sure a little bit. I, I feel like you're, you want to make sure, because the Queen of Wands is somebody, and same as the Seven of Wands, being careful what you believe too, right? Standing up for what you believe in, but being careful what you believe, because I feel with this justice, it's like you have to make this decision if this person's right for you now. And I feel like you did feel they were, all right, with this. This person sees you as just right. They see you as strong and powerful and brave. Um, standing up for yourself changed this person's perspective, Leo. Uh, they do want to reconcile. Someone from your past is returning. Yeah, they're worried you're going to, yeah, they're worried you're going to, they're scared you're going to reject to them okay to get your justice here but they see you as just right i think you at one time you believed this person was just right for you now you're not as focused on them that way like because of this right it's changed your perspective a little bit too to do with highest emotional fulfillment right this person's starting to see love and emotional fulfillment in a different way uh, because i feel like they're lonely they've been spending some time alone here and uh it's bringing them some clarity. They want this new beginning with you. They want to offer you this love. They see the possibilities. They see all the abundance. They see you as everything they want. Now you kind of, I feel like you've been working through on your abundance and you have everything you want. <laughs> so now you're like, kind of like, you know, you've gone within. You're holding yourself in high regard. You've been hurt. So now you're not so sure if you see this person is just right, but I do see this soulmate, right? There's a need to forgive and heal and release this past. I feel like this person wants to come in and make this right. What You said something to this person too, I feel, in the past. You're going to have to revisit that with this person, I feel. Tell me about soulmate. What's going on with soulmate for Leo? What's soulmate? Yeah, this person sees the possibilities, they see the possibilities. They're fantasizing. They're a little confused about this whole soulmate thing. They may have seen something or something has brought this to their attention. Uh, they fantasize about you. They see the possibilities. A bit of confusion. That's why they're looking at things. Not sure if they believe in that whole thing, but they've been trapped in their head. They can't get out of the energy and release you. So now they're like, what the heck? I need to heal this. What? you know <laughs> they're starting to they're going through something here and it's changing their perspective how they see love and uh because they've been very stuck 
They're about to get moving here. They're headed in your direction. They're hoping that this can be healed. Tell me about forgiving and learning. What's going on with forgiving and learning? Another reconciliation energy. Boy, oh boy, as a lot of people in hermit mode these days are thinking about the the one that got away, the mistakes. Yeah, so this person too, they look at that. They've got some Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or something in their chart. Leo, okay. This could be you as well, but I feel like it's them. It's right beside this uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Or this person who has that Earth energy. They don't even have to be. They could be Aries, Leo, or Sag. I feel like they... Yeah, this person has something they need to heal, and I feel like they, they're they going to be looking for, for some forgiveness here. This person was focused on the passion with you in the past. Uh, they were focused on themselves. They were behaving a little bit immature, okay, possibly. Um, they're hoping you can forgive that. They're going to be coming towards you. Um, they need to purge and let go of that. They got some, some things to do that they, they need to let go of. They're seeing things different now. They kind of get it. They know what where they went wrong. So I feel like they may just come in out of the blue to clear things up. You're not so sure anymore though, right? You're not so sure if you see them as just the right person anymore. Because you've also changed your perspective. You've been making yourself, you've been stuck, right, in this energy, but you've been um, working on your abundance, uh, healing yourself from within. And now that you're healed, you're not, you're seeing things different. You're not so sure anymore. And I feel like they are worried about being rejected. Tell me about this reconciliation. One more card on the reconciliation. Where will this lead? Yeah, putting an end to a painful situation, making a new offer. So yeah, they want to make, they want to, put an end to whatever happened um, they want this done uh, they may have rejected you in the past and they want to reconcile and put an end to this and make you an offer I don't know if you're going to accept this or not tell me about justice they could be a Libra Taurus Virgo Capricorn Aries Leo Sag Gemini Libra Aquarius yeah we got the whole I feel like if you have Aquarius in your chart this person holds you in very high regard they want to heal this. It seems a little out of reach, though, because they walked away and they acted like they didn't care. Uh, they were focused on the passion, focused on themselves, kind of selfish, a little self-centered at the time. It's all about money. They were stubborn, stuck. Maybe how they were raised. I don't know. This past, the history, reconciliation. They've been working through something here, paying attention to the details. There's, And I, I feel like they didn't really get to know you uh, we have this ace of cups here this is you yeah you never got the clarity i feel like you had this new beginning with this person this fresh new start but you never it's like it never got off the ground or something you need more clarity you don't have the clarity they could be a libra as well coming in to clear things up it's like this person never ever told you. They were never clear about how they felt, any of their emotions, how they felt. So I feel like they're going to come and offer you that cup. But I do feel like you don't want to repeat the same mistakes of the past. Neither do they. But I, I feel like that's your biggest concern. You're not so sure you want to uh, do this. You're going to have to make a decision. Justice is a decision as well. If you see this person as just right, they see you as just right, but yeah, they, they were never very clear to you. They never shared a lot of feelings. It's like the physically they thought you were, you know, they were very focused on that, not so much about anything else. Yeah, they want to come in and communicate. They were all about the passion. Yeah, they wanted to come in quick with the passion. You're going to get some communication from this person. Tell me about justice. Give me more on justice. Aries Leo Sagittarius, yeah, this person's coming in. Uh, they want to see this through. They're coming in to fight for this, to do the right thing. They want to go about this the right way. They want to see it through. They're going to have to take a risk. They could be an Aries Leo. <laughs> it's funny because the Aries reading is a slightly similar. 
So yeah, they could be coming in to take a, a risk here to have this reconciliation. But the thing is, is you're the one who's in control now. You're going to want justice. You want to make sure this person's treating you just right. You want to make sure everything is exactly the way it is. They see you as that way, but yeah, the tables are turned. You're now the one that's uh, in charge, but they are coming to take this leap of faith, this risk to have a new beginning. You may decide to go off on another path, but we shall see because you're not so sure. You may end this like, you know, they want this new beginning. They want to make you this offer. There's that offer they're thinking about making to heal this situation, to get things moving towards that Ten of Cups. Let's grab some outcome cards for Leo. All right, Leo. What is the outcome? Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, this person's thinking about making things right, doing the right thing. Um, they coming in slow. Paying attention to all the details, trying to get it right. They're thinking about the right thing to say, the right thing to do. One of them is to probably tell you how they feel about you, that they see you as, you know, they're hoping that you'll heal this. They're hoping this can be healed. Whoops. Dropped it. I'm scared to look at it. <sighs> going to grab a new one. Three cards all over. I don't know which one comes first. There we go. Building blocks. Yeah, this person's trying to build themselves up, get ready, think about what they need to say. They want to build. They want to make this offer. They want to put the work in. They've been working on themselves too. I feel like they have them going through their history, their past, the memories. They have sweet memories of you. They've been thinking about you. Yeah, they want to do the right thing. They want to work on this. They want to be fair. They didn't treat you right. They didn't put any work in in the past. You were probably the one that did all the work, Leo. So, But they're headed in your direction. They're ready for a new beginning. They're ready to work. I feel like they could be an Aries for some of you. All right. Uh, you could have Aries in your chart. It doesn't even have to be an Aries, but I feel like this is your main player, King of Pentacles. And it could be a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. This is somebody who uh, has their finances in order. This is someone who's reached that King of Pentacles status, okay? They could be a Taurus. I see Taurus for some of you. Yeah, so somebody's coming in to clear things up, all right? Someone's going to coming in to clean up their mess, all right? This, someone's gone within deep within themselves they know what they need to do they know they need to clear things right and they need to make this right whatever it is that happened i feel like they just walked away from you in the past they were all about money they were it's like they're i don't know what their real problem was but it's like they weren't very invested very emotionally and there's something they wouldn't invest in they wouldn't introduce you to their friends or family there may have been other people involved um, but this is like being careful not to repeat the same mistakes, okay? And that's what they need to come in. And they, um, you're going to need to be patient to see, hear what this person has to say. But I feel like for some of you, they're going to ask you if you're seeing anyone else. Yeah, they have a truth that needs to be told. They have something they need to tell you. They, they might have been seeing other people. Yeah, there's something that needs to be told here. Something that needs to be cleared up. They know they need to. All right, Leo, so they're headed in your direction. Get ready. I don't know if this person did anything really horrible, but it mostly feels like all they did is think about work. They acted like they only cared about their money. They were focused on their finances. They really didn't. They acted like they didn't care. They didn't hold you in high regard. Uh, so you walked away. But I And I do think they were more focused on the passion, focused on themselves. Okay, there's a need to forgive this. They're going to want you to forgive them. I feel like they're going to ask for forgiveness. Okay, because the Queen of Cups can do that too. Come in and ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Especially with fertility, to heal a situation where you weren't held in high regard. You know, forgive me for not treating you properly. Seeing the abundance and the possibilities of this connection. 
All right. So take care, everybody. I wish you the best. Bye for now.